In this lecture, we will see probability laws. Uh, specifically, today we will see additive law. So, in laws of probability, there are four laws. First is additive law, second is multiplicative law, third conditional probability and Bayes theorem. So, first is additive law. In additive law, there are two things. First is for not mutually exclusive event and second is for mutually exclusive event. Now, for these two things, for mutually exclusive, not mutually exclusive, I have taken example same type of example. So, uh, we have this problem, first one. This one card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting a club or a kink. And second problem is, one card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards then find the probability of getting a club or a spade. So, we have 52 cards, 52 cards, 4 categories in these 52 cards. First is uh, club, second is heart, third is spade and fourth is diamond. And in each category, we have 13 cards, 13 cards for in each category. Now, in this first case, one card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards, one card and find the probability of getting a club or a king. So, in these, in these cases, we have word like or, this word or. So, when we have situation like or, then we will apply additive law. In this case, also we have or, so we will apply additive law. So, this first case is associated with additive law because of OR. Now, mathematically, this OR, this OR is denoted by union, symbol of union. Okay. So, now first we will consider event. Let the event for club is considered as A and event for king we will consider as B. We will not write again and again club or king. We will write A and B. So, your target is what? Your target is to find probability of getting a club or a king. So, we can write this as uh, you need to find probability, you need to find probability of club or king. So, for this club or king, we can write mathematically, this is probability club is denoted by a and or means union p union b a union and king is denoted by b so your target is what your target is probability of a union b you need to find now first case first situation is club so we have first group for club so, these are club cards, chidi in Hindi. So, these are club cards and rest of the cards from king. So, next group is for king. We are drawing with this red color. So, this is the situation. Now, we can draw diagram for this situation. So, for this situation diagram uh, like this one. And this first group is for club, this is denoted by A and this second group is for king, this is denoted by B. Now, we are writing, we are taking some common part also because this king is common, this king is common for a spade and this category of king or we can say this spade is, uh, this club is common for this uh, group and this king group. So, there is one card. So, this is one card and only for a spade, not king. Only for a spade, uh, sorry, only for club, not a spade. Uh, there are 12 cards and only for king 
excluding this common card we have three cards but total king is four and total clubs are 13 so probability of probability of a club there are 13 clubs and out of 52 cards so probability of club this means probability of a club is 13 upon 52 that is what favorable ways upon total ways so 13 card in favor of club and total cards 52 that's why probability of club only club is 13 upon 52 now probability of king so out of 52 cards total kings 4 so probability is 4 upon 52 now we will see one thing one common card is there this card is common and this is considered as intersection intersection of a and b a cap b or a intersection we one card is common so probability for this one common card probability for this one common card is probability of a intersection b as there is one card common so probability of one card out of 52 so this is 1 upon 52 now parallelly we will see this second case also in second case we have group of club and a spade so this first group is for club and second group is for a spade now you will see there is no common card so when we draw its venn diagram so the form of venn diagram like this this first group is for club and this second group is for a spade so this is what a this is what b so in this case in this case probability probability of again you need to find what again you need to find probability of club or a spade so now you can write this mathematically as probability of a union or is union and spade is now denoted by b so this is your target so we will write probability of club first and club is denoted by a that's why this is pa and how many total uh, clubs 13 so 13 favorable cards and total cards are 52 so probability of this club is 13 upon 52 now probability of a spade pb this is the probability of a spade and there are 13 spades so probability of this is 13 upon 52 and there is no common part so no need to find intersection this means intersection card is a probability of intersection card is zero so now again back to first case so you need to find probability of a union b probability of a union b and this union means additive law additive law means addition of probability so first we will add this first probability p a this is p a and then second probability p b now one important thing this common part is added one time with this a means in p a and this common part one time with this b so this is p b so one time with uh, within this a one time within this b but you need to take only one time so add this common part is added two times so we will subtract this common part this common part one time and that is probability of a intersection b now we will put all these values so this first is 13 upon 52 this second is 4 upon 52 and this last is 1 upon 52 so the answer is 13 plus 4 17 minus 1 is 16 so this is 16 upon 52 
and you can write this 16 upon 52 as 4 upon 13. You can write this in decimal also. So this is for not mutually exclusive. Mutual, not mutually exclusive means if the groups are not uh, free from other or different from other, there is common part. So this is considered as not mutually exclusive. And in second part, both the groups are totally different. No common part is there. That's why we will say this is mutually exclusive event. So for this situation, for this situation, your target is probability of A union B as union for additive law. So you will write this as PA plus PB. And there is no common part, so no need to subtract this common part. Now we will put values. So this is 13 upon 52. This second is what? This second is again 13 upon 52. And total is what? 26 upon 52. And this equals to 1 upon 2. And in decimal, this is 0 0.5. So this is the probability when the events are mutually exclusive. Now back to formulae. So for additive law, for additive law formula of A union B, for not mutually exclusive, this is PA plus PB minus intersection of a and B. And in second case for mutually exclusive event, this is simply P A union B equals to this P A plus this P B. So this is additive law. So I hope you understand this concept. So please like this video and subscribe my channel Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.